Welcome! In front of me is a Lenovo Tab P11 and today I want to show you a couple tweaks and tricks you can do on this tablet. So let's get started by opening up settings and I'm gonna start off with the display section and here we have system navigation on the uh, as the first thing that I want to show you. By default, the uh, tablet comes with button, or not button, gesture navigation, but you can change it to button navigation if you want to. So we're gonna select right here, system navigation, and you have it right here, three button nav. So it will bring back the buttons if you that if that's something that you're used to using and that's what you want to use. I personally do prefer gestures myself, so I'll switch it back to it. Now moving on to the next thing, which also will be here, is the dark theme, you find it right here. And you can select it uh, to turn on right now, just by tapping on turn on. Or you can have it set to be as a schedule. And here you have a couple options. So turn on uh, from sunset to sunrise or turn on uh, at custom times. With custom times, I believe it's yep, 10 p.m. to 6 a.m. So you can choose whichever one you want. I'm gonna go back to normal one and I will also well, turn it off, but it's already off. So there we go. Now moving on to another uh, thing that I want to just show you. Uh, this will be for people that just want to use this mode. Uh, I will explain what I mean by that in a second. So uh, if you're using just a typical like Android uh, look, then uh, split screen is a nice thing to utilize. So if you go into recent applications, you have apps that are where or are open right now. And you can hold this icon of the, the setting or of the application and as you can see it gives you a split screen option and from there you can choose any kind of other application that you want to split screen with so i'm going to select youtube even though it won't load i don't have internet connection but as you can see i can use two apps at the same time and if you play some kind of video on youtube and you utilize some other app right here it will not close it so that is something to keep in mind now close this close this uh, outside of the split screen, you do have an other option in here. So let's open up settings. And this option is called productivity mode right over here. And you can enable it. Select OK. And as you can see, it gives you a kind of like a window support. So you can move these around, you can resize them if you want to. There we go. Uh, it shows you still apps that are on your home screen but it also gives you this kind of like different kind of layout of, of things it also shows you apps that are open so I can just kind of like add a bunch of them you can minimize them as you can see they minimize right here let's open a couple more and I can just kind of like flip between them So it kind of tries to act like a uh, like a computer now, which is something that people might enjoy. Uh, probably best uh, based usability for this would be with a mouse. So you could use a dongle if you have one and just plug it in via USB or if you have a wireless Bluetooth mouse, you can just connect it via Bluetooth and keyboard the same way. And then you have basically pseudo a laptop on the go. Obviously it won't be as uh, powerful as fast uh, or as versatile but still it gives you the general kind of uh, aesthetic along with usability so if that is something that you're looking for there you go now moving on to another thing uh, let's open up settings first yeah, full screen that it's going to be the uh, smart navigation and it's also somewhere here there we go smart navigation and this adds kind of like Samsung devices have this little kind of bar that you can pull out a bunch of applications that you can just have a quick uh, quick launch along with shortcuts. So there we go. So it looks like by default it drops into shortcuts like uh, screenshot, screen recording, some emojis, whatever that is, and this and that. This is I think desktop mode. So we can actually quickly launch it from here. Yep. So that's pretty neat. So there we go. Um, now that being said, this would conclude all the things that I wanted to show you. So if you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.